Imagine there are five magic words you can say at the end of an interview that almost guarantee you'll get the job. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to share what those five words are and how they can transform your interview game. So you won't want to miss this. Having run a search firm for the past eight years, I've seen thousands of interviews. And one thing that always surprised me was how rarely candidates use these five magic words that could significantly boost their chances of getting hired. Now, before I set up my company, I used this exact tactic to secure one of my first corporate jobs. Now, I remember walking into that interview nervous but determined. And as the interview progressed, I felt a connection with the interviewer and saw an opportunity. Now, this bold move led Handed me the position of project manager and was a game changer for my career. Now, it's not just about the words themselves, it's about how you deliver them. And that's what I'm going to teach you today. So before we dive in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on my latest tips to ace your job interviews. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into it. So from the moment you walk into the interview, start building a connection with your interviewer. Smile, make eye contact and engage in small talk to break the ice. Now throughout the conversation, show genuine interest in the role and the company. Ask insightful questions about the company's goals, challenges and culture. Now this sets the stage for a strong rapport. So for example, you could say, I noticed that your company recently launched a new product line. Can you tell me more about the challenges and successes that you've experienced with it? Now, this shows you're knowledgeable and interested. Now, next, you need to demonstrate how you can offer real value to the organization. Now, highlight your relevant skills, experiences, and accomplishments. Use specific examples to show how you've solved problems or contributed to the success in previous roles. So remember, you want the interviewer to visualize you as part of their team. For instance, you might say, in my previous role, I led a project that increased our efficiency by 20%. Now, I believe that I could bring the same level of success to your team, especially with the new challenges that you're facing. Now, I've done several videos to help you with your interviews. So do take a look at my interview playlist, which I'll pop a link in the comments. But here's the kicker. It's not just what you say, it's how you say it. Your tone can make all the difference. Now, you need to be confident, but not arrogant, enthusiastic, but not desperate. And it's all about striking the right balance. This is where techniques from Chris Voss, a former FBI negotiator, come into play. Voss talks about the power of tone, using labels and mirrors to build rapport and guide conversations. Now, labels are a great way to acknowledge the interviewer's feelings or thoughts. So for example, if they mention a challenge that the company is facing, you could say, it sounds like you're dealing with a lot of complexity. Now this shows empathy and understanding and mirrors involve repeating the last few words of, or the main idea of what the interviewer just said. So if they say we're looking for someone who can manage tight deadlines, you could respond with tight deadlines. Absolutely. In my last job, I, and then to provide an example that shows that you can handle that. Now you've built rapport, demonstrated your value and use the right tone throughout the interview. And as the conversation winds down, it's time to make your closing statement. Now, this is where you summarize your interests and qualifications. So you might say, from our conversation today, I'm even more excited about the prospect of joining your team. I'm confident that my skills in, and then mention your specific skills, and my passion for, mention relevant passion, would enable me to make a significant contribution here. Now, here comes the moment you've all been waiting for. The five magic words that can seal the deal are, can I have the job? It's simple, direct, and powerful, but remember, it's all about how you say it. You need to be calm and composed, and you make Make sure that your tone reflects your enthusiasm and confidence without sounding desperate or pushy. You can integrate it seamlessly into your closing statement. So after you've summarized your interests and qualifications, you say, can I have the job? Now this shows the interviewer that you are genuinely interested and confident in your abilities to succeed in the role. So to recap, asking for the job isn't just a formality. It's a strategic move to demonstrate your commitment and enthusiasm. 
system. Now, remember to build rapport throughout the interview and demonstrate your value. Use techniques like labels and mirrors to enhance communication. And finally, ask for the job with confidence. Now, start practicing these techniques in your next interview and pay attention to your tone. Be confident but genuine and don't forget to ask for the job when the moment feels right. Now, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like more help with your next interview, take a look at these two videos, how to answer, tell me about yourself and how to use the STAR method. I'll see you there.